As we're going into the further end of the fall, early winter months, if we haven't already started feeding uh, big round bales of hay, uh, once we get some snow cover on the ground or an ice storm, uh, certainly that hay feeding will begin. Questions arise then about how much hay do we need to have stored to take care of the winter needs of our beef cows that are going to calve next spring, and how much hay do we need to take out to the pasture at any given time in order for the cows to meet their daily requirements. Well, there's several things that are involved in making those calculations. Uh, first of all, I think we want to consider the size of the cows. Uh, obviously, uh, if we consider that we've got some normal sized beef cows today, in today's world, that generally means a pregnant cow is someplace around 1,200 pounds. Cows will consume in terms of how much hay each day depending upon hay quality. If it's a low quality hay, and by that I mean something that's certainly 6% crude protein or less, these cows voluntarily can consume only about 1.5% of their body weight each day. And that's just because it takes longer for that low quality hay to be broken down and digested by the rumen, and that's uh, usually the hays that are going to need quite a little bit of supplementation. If they're consuming a higher quality grass hay, let's say something that's about 8% crude protein or better, now these cows can uh, consume about 2% of their body weight voluntarily just because the rumen can go ahead and break that down faster, there's uh, faster turnover time, and they can consume more of that hay and they need less supplementation. But let's use an example here of a 1,200 pound cow that's consuming that 8% crude protein grass hay. She can consume about 2% of it uh, on a dry matter basis, and that means 100% dry matter, no moisture involved, about 2% of it every day. Well, 2% of 1,200 is 24 pounds. That grass hay, even though it looks dry to you, still contains about 7 to 10% moisture. So we have to calculate that. And so as we figure this uh, as to how much hay that sheep can consume on an as-fed basis, it uh, jumps up to about 26 pounds. That still doesn't include the fact that when we take that hay out, put it in one of our bale feeders, or just uh, string it out on the ground, there's going to be wastage. And wastage will vary uh, quite a little bit from as low as uh, we estimate about 6% in some of the best situations to as high as 20% or more. Let's assume we're just putting that in just a regular ring bale feeder and it's uh, going to be about 15% hay wastage. On top of the 26 pounds that uh, she can consume, now we have to consider that as we take that out to the pasture, we're going to need 30 pounds of that actual hay in order to meet her needs. That's what we uh, need to kind of calculate as we're figuring how much hay we need for these dry cows as they go through the winter before the calve. Once they calve and they're lactating cows, now their ability to consume this hay actually goes up because of the uh, energy and protein needs they have to replace that that's going out in milk. We can generally consider they'll consume about 2.6% of that quality hay on a voluntary basis as lactating cows next spring after they calve, those lactating cows will need about 36 pounds uh, when we consider the dry matter calculation as well as the, the hay wastage. So I realize that uh, in a lot of cases we'll still depend on standing forage to provide part of the hay needs, or the forage needs of these cows as we go through the winter. But if we're in a situation where our pastures are real short, or we have snow cover on the ground for a period of time and all of the hay and forage that those cows are going to consume, we need to keep those numbers in mind so that we're getting the right amount of hay out to those cows to meet their needs so that we can maintain body condition on them into and through the calving season and then on into towards spring grass and the breeding season so that we not only have a successful calving season this spring, we have a good breed back for those calves uh, that we're going to expect the following year. I think that if you'll do some proper calculations, keep in mind the size of your cows, you'll want to probably weigh a couple of these big round bales if you have that opportunity so that you know how much hay is in each bale, 
and then you'll have the proper amount of hay going out to the cows this fall and this winter. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow Calf Corner.